Good morning and welcome back. I've got Brian Bowersock with us this morning, our auto man here with all the tips we always need to keep ourselves off the side of the road. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So today we're talking about how to get your vehicle properly diagnosed. Well, yes. So one of the things we're talking about, often when talking to colleagues uh, these days, we talk about the cost of the equipment to actually diagnose vehicles properly and how a lot of facilities don't have that equipment when you're talking about independent repair facilities. Often we can spend twenty-five to one hundred thousand dollars a year keeping up with all the manufacturers' software and all that stuff we need to diagnose your vehicle properly. So what we're kind of talking about this morning is why spending money on a proper diagnosis is the best money that you'll ever spend. Um, and, and the reason for that is having somebody qualified diagnose your vehicle, uh, get it diagnosed right the first time, um, replacing the proper components, um, going through all the verification and all that to make sure your vehicle is fixed right the first time. Um, is almost no way to replace that. How often do you see people come to you that have had something misdiagnosed? It's a lot more often than you'd think. Really? So uh, we get vehicles in all the time that people have said, I've replaced this and I've had this replaced and this replaced. Well, the other problem with that is you can create other issues with a vehicle by replacing components that are not uh, faulty. And in turn, this may create issues as far as when they were put in, they weren't programmed properly if somebody didn't know what they were doing or the right software wasn't put into them. So there's all kinds of unknowns that can be created by people that are not qualified to be repairing or diagnosing a vehicle. And how can we, as the owner of the vehicle, help you properly diagnose what's wrong with the car? Well, number one is to notate things such as when something happens with a vehicle. Is it cold when you're first starting in the morning, climbing a hill, um, you know, when it does it, things like that. If you keep a little piece of paper in your car or jot it down, it's great to take in and say, this is when my car has this problem. And uh, then, like I said, having a qualified technician that knows what he's doing, diagnose the vehicle. Usually, the money you spend on the diagnosis is the best money spent on the entire repair because it will save you money in the long run. In the run. long run, which Absolutely. is what we want to do. <laughs> Absolutely, without question. <laughs> Most of these repairs are one-point repairs versus replacing all these different items that we often see people do that are unneeded. Brian Bowersock, thank you so much for these wonderful tips.